to collect field data at a specific project point, the Acquire Data function must be used. Firstly, you will need to select the project point to which you want to collect field data. Then select the Acquire Data option from the Project Menu options. The Cable Test menu will appear. On some newer devices, the device will need to be calibrated to the cable to function correctly. To do this, connect the cable to the device in the shown configuration. Then select the Calibrate Cable option from the top menu. The cable will automatically be calibrated to the output voltage provided by the device audio port. Once complete, the calibration factor will be displayed. Select OK if the calibration factor is acceptable. To remove the applied cable calibration, select the Reset Calibration option from the top menu. The cable open circuit test must be conducted. This will determine if there are any shorts on the cable. Plug the cable into the device in the shown configuration. Then select the Next option. The application will then test the open circuit configuration of the cable. This process takes approximately 8 seconds to complete. If the open circuit test is successful, the application will then require the cable to be tested in the closed circuit configuration. Connect the cable in the configuration shown, then select Next. The cable will test for cable breaks. This operation takes 4 seconds to complete. If successful, the sounding location must be tested for noise content and soil resistivity. Set up the electrodes, cables, and sounding plate as shown. Align the electrodes in the east-west direction. An orientation compass is shown to assist with the alignment. A green circle indicates the alignment is correct. Once the setup is aligned, the test can be initiated by selecting the Next option. The sight point will then be tested for noise content and resistivity. The test operation takes approximately 10 seconds to complete. Once complete, the sight point noise statistics will be displayed. The noise statistics are displayed as a time series, a frequency series, and as a simplified noise statistic graph. If the noise statistic graph indicates that all the noise stats are green, then the site is considered to contain an acceptable noise level. If not, then the user may choose to continue regardless of the site noise content warning by selecting the Next option. The Acquire Data menu will then appear. The user will be required to start the recording process. Then strike the sounding plate 5 to 20 times with a suitable seismic source, such as a sledgehammer. The Acquire Data menu allows the user to manually set the filter's frequency and bandwidth, as well as apply normalization, seismic attenuation correction, and co-seismic filters. These options are available under the Acquire Data menu options. Once the appropriate settings are made, the recording process can begin. The data acquisition process is started by selecting the Start button. The process will run for 40 seconds, and then the user will be required to strike the sounding plate 5 to 20 times in this period. The recorded data will then be filtered. Evaluated for noise and EM parameters. Extracted. Correlated. Stacked and rendered. Once the acquire process is successfully completed, the Point Data menu will appear. All point data variables can be assessed in this menu. If all the recorded variables for the point project are in order, the data must be accepted in order to be saved to the point. This is done by selecting the Accept option. The point data status will be updated in the project list.